Hello, welcome to The Full Frame with Mark and Ben. I'm Mark, Ben's not here. Don't worry, he's not dead. He'll be back in a future video. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about this, the Canon SureShot A1, not to be confused with the Canon SureShot WP1. Um, the difference is that A1, which is this one, is completely submergible. I'm going to be going through that in a minute. Um, and the WP1, which this bit is orange on the WP1, do not submerge it if you've got that one. It's weatherproof, but it's not like underwater proof. Firstly, a bit about the camera. It's got a fixed built-in flash, fires automatically in low light and backlit conditions. The lens is 32 millimeters, um, so it's quite wide. The focus above water has three point smart autofocus with near infrared beam. And underwater, it has a fixed focus. So you can tell I totally read that and I didn't. Um, I didn't know that. I had to read that. It cost me £169 on eBay and it was manufactured in the year 1994, which I find hard to believe. I still think this looks really, really cool um, in 2023, nearly 2024. So it's going to be 30 years old by the time most of people will be watching this video. I wanted this camera because I wanted a camera I could take out in the rain. It was raining loads when I bought this camera. It's still raining quite a lot at the moment as I film this. So it's a, it was just a camera I could take out and not worry about it getting wet. Um, so for this video, I took it out in three separate conditions in the rain during the day, in the rain at night and underwater in a swimming pool, which is really hard to do if you're in the UK and don't own a swimming pool because you're not allowed to take photos in public swimming pools. So the first test was walking around my town that I live in and it was just taking photos as I went around um, with the camera as I was on my lunch break from work. It's not gonna go well. Nope, that's not good. See what it comes out like. I love the look of it. I know it's sort of, it came out early 90s, but I think it, it looks really cool for something that came out now. I really like how it looks. I like the colors, I like the design of it. I love the sound that it makes when it winds on. It'd be interesting to see what the, the pictures come out like. I know that the lens is quite wide, so we'll see what that looks like when it comes out. Uh, but the main thing is I'm just to test to see if it works at this point. meeting I need to get to in 35 minutes so I need to go back to the office so that's kind of part one done daytime it did rain a bit it's nice having a camera that you're not worried about getting wet because um, with all my other cameras like if they got wet it'd be an absolute disaster um, so just having something like that it's just nice to be able to not worry about it um, so part two you'll be using it at night and then part three, submerging it to see how that works. I've got some ideas of what I want to do. I've got 
uh, an opportunity to film in a swimming pool at a hotel next week as I'm making this. So we'll see how that goes. So here's part two at night. I only managed to shoot like two clips of video at night because I was at a fireworks display, I was with my son, and I was just trying to make sure he didn't run off. So my main concern was him rather than the video, but I did manage to get two or three pictures. So here comes the all important third test. How does it work underwater? So I had bought goggles to use underwater so I could see underwater and see what I was pointing at, but I forgot them for my trip. So I got up really early at 6 a.m. when the swimming pool opened in the hotel I was staying in, hoping that nobody else would be around. So I was really nervous about going and filming and taking photos and hoping I wouldn't get caught. So I tried to be quick when I was filming these. Um, and take photos and sort of guess what I was taking photos of as well. Um, I managed to get a few photos, most of them look really terrible because there wasn't really much to take photos of underwater, um, but I did get a few that I was quite happy with. But overall, I'm not sure why I would need to use this camera underwater. There's not many situations where I think, oh, I want to take these photos underwater. It's certainly not allowed in the UK. Like anywhere I've been swimming, like you see little posters on the wall saying no photography. Overall, I think I'd like to have a bit more time using it. I've only used it once and that was for this video. I haven't used it since, but I will be using it again in the future, whether that's um, for personal stuff or whether that's going out with Ben and doing other videos as well it'd be interesting to see when I use it but definitely when I'm going on trips and I think there might be rain which is pretty likely because live in England um, that's I will bring it along and it will be interesting to use it again with my other point and shoot I do have a zoom option but with this obviously it's quite wide so I've really got to bear that in mind if I'm going to use that and take it um, on future trips so let me know what you think of the photos I will be using this more on future shoots um, as and when I go out and as and when it's raining so it's a good option for me to have but it's certainly not going to be one I use all the time but let me know what you think of these um, photos and if you've got one or if you've got a similar camera let us know in the comments below thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video